want the truth? Well, here's the wicked truth. <laughs> Believe it. But it do feel good, man. It just really that's the only thing that really motivate me. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes I don't be feeling like doing nothing either. I be like, you know what? How about I just go here, sit my butt down, and just cool out? Right. Cause we all have that in us to want to go and sit down and cool out. Cool be like, out. you know what? Y'all can have it. I tried my best, and that's all you getting out of me. Yeah. Right, okay. Right. Yeah. But when I see that, like, oh man, the people they need it, they they learning from it, they appreciate it. So yeah. I got to deliver because I know I'm like, hell, yeah, if I ain't gonna do it, who else gonna do it? Correct. Mm-hmm. So I try to play as I try to get a game to my youngsters so they can pick up where I left off mm. and really redo exactly what I did. Because guess what? We, you got to go tell your story again to a new generation Correct. after me. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Correct. And that story ain't going to never get old. Correct. But by you telling that story, a new generation understand where they came from, right. what you had to overcome to get there, right. and that it wasn't always as sweet as it is now. As it is now. You see what I'm and, saying? And, and right. I'm glad you right. said that, Behat. Right. When, you, when you're... Because you're you're up close and personal uh, with a lot of these youngsters. Mm-hmm. I just saw Dolph when he left out of here uh, yeah. a minute ago. And no disrespect to Dolph. I love him. We've done a few little shows together yeah. here and there. Uh, but it is a difference when you're dealing with a new artist. Yeah. When they, how a new artist approaches me. Yeah. Than where uh, uh, a a a, um, a a a a seasoned artist. Yeah. Approaching me, there is a difference. Um, tell me when you're interviewing the younger artists. W- w- are you? Do you feel like they respect the old school? Or do you feel like they don't know about the they old school? They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, you see what okay. I'm saying? If they knew, then it would be a respect. But so the only way they would know, they would have had to have lived through it. Correct. You see what I'm saying? They would have had to hear Ghetto Mafia putting Decatur right. on the map. They would have had to have heard that. Right. If they don't even know, I mean, just to be honest, now who is even repping Decatur now? Correct. 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 They don't niggas don't even know they supposed to rap it. Right. Because they ain't heard the music. So it's on folks such as myself job to let them know where they came from so they can continue the legacy. Oh, that's right. Versus just thinking that they creating it from scratch and that everything is just here for them. It's like, no, this is where it came from, this is how they did it, do what they did, and make it better. Right. Exactly. Right. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Stack, what you got? To, um, that makes got sense, ask. though. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That that, that really do when you think about it. Because yeah. what what do, what do you think? You know, real quick on that before we go to the next set. What do you think uh, the problem is, though? I mean, you know, because uh, we had uh, Kane in here. He's like, hey, we're we, you know, some of us is not teaching them. You know, we're yeah. Not- is it our fault? Well, yeah, because I done reached out to a lot of OG. Mm-hmm. And that's why I show love to the ones that show love to me. I done reached out to everybody. If, if somebody ain't been on my show, because they don't want to be there. Oh. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because I got an open platform to everybody. You Correct. see what I'm saying? Correct. So the folks that come to my show are the folks that show me love that I'm going to support. And I'm going to keep their legacy popping because I'm in a position to do so. Correct. You see what I'm saying? Correct. And the ones that don't, they might not necessarily be as hot on my list as the ones that came through. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. So... But that being said, you know, it's on us, folks in my generation and younger, to understand and just push the, uh, it's a history lesson, man. It's a history These lesson. These folks got to know they doggone history. They don't Correct. know, if you don't know where you come from, you don't even know where the hell you going. You don't know that it is okay to say something real in a song because you ain't never heard it your whole life. Right. Right. You don't know what I grew up on. It was cool to be kind of having a little sense. You see right. what I'm saying? Correct. It was cool to know something. So, know something. You had to know right. something. Right. Right. Yeah. You right. know, you ain't want to be running around here just being just flat out ignorant because yeah. nigga, you weren't going to get nowhere. Correct. So, that's I right. think it's on us to really teach and then just even with the music and on the radio and how we promote everything, you have to have the old school concerts. You need to blend the mu- the old school in with the new school and the music right. so they can see where that rhyme scheme came from. Right. You see what I'm saying? Where that track came from. Right. Where exactly. that idea really exactly. came from. Some yeah. of these songs you might hear, it's the fifth time with that sample. With that fifth time with that sample. Fifth exactly. time right. with that hook. Exactly. Fifth time with that. So it's like, let them know the other four that came before it and right. see, and let them decide who did it the best. Correct. 
Case on the point that uh, they got the juju on the beat, but that was uh, nook come on, nook if you buck. Exactly. I think I think people need to know it went all about doing all the man. We were boy, you that yeah. tongue came on in some club, man. You, if you don't know how to fight, you got to get the hell up out of that. Hey, well, lay down on the ground that you got knocked out. <laughs> yeah, come on now. I mean, they real. Saying, but let them know you got knocked exactly. out plenty times to that song. Well, you know, I was hey, I was nucking, but I don't know if I was bucking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know about the bucking part. <laughs> I was nucking though. You were nucking those now. Boy, I'm talking about, for, but I, I don't know about the butt. <laughs> I don't know about the butt. Yeah, you Beehive, know. man. Um, man, it's great to be here with you, bro. Um, yeah. So, so I mean, where, what's, what's the future for Beehive? What, what do you see your, yourself, you know, five, ten years from now? I mean, do, do you want to own a station? Are you going to go into, you know, maybe like what we're doing, your yeah. own podcast type of uh, situation? Uh, and you gonna re- you gonna retire up there with with, with Dave and the crew, <laughs> man? I got a shout out to the Ball Hurricane Dave, man, because he yeah. helped me out a lot too. Why? When I think about it, yeah, I never got no hell out of him. I was bringing all kinds of fools in there to that radio station, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he never gave me no hell. And I'm talking about some of these folks you didn't know who the hell they was until six <laughs> to seven months later. Oh, okay. Because I was getting them early. Okay. But okay. he let me bring them in there. Wow. I think he kind of seen the vision of what I was trying to do and was just like, if it work out, we come back and holler at me and we'll help you grow some more. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Wow. But a lot of times when it comes to that vision stuff, man, you'll be the only one with it. Don't Correct. nobody see what the hell you in there doing because I know a lot of folks, you be like, B, how the hell you done brought her here today? <laughs> right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then he turned out to be Rich Homie Kwan. Turned out to be Rich Homie You Kwan. see what I'm saying? He turned out to be Day Day. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. folks like, oh, I see what's going on in here now. Then they have to pay attention to what you're doing early. Mm. So now you done created a lane and carved out a niche for yourself and created a pocket for folks to be able to come in mm. and blast off of. Mm. Right, You see right. what I'm saying? Uh, d- uh, and um, I want you to touch on... For the youth, um, because you know we joke around a lot on on the show, uh, me and Stack, mm. and um, you know I come from an era of where we fought after the show. You know it might be one person with a gun, a little rusty twenty two mm-hmm. or something in his shoe or something. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, with all the violence, man, with with, with you know a bankroll and yeah. Adobe, yeah. and you know, uh, and and the yeah. list goes uh, on yeah. and on and on and on and on. I mean, what would you say? To the youth right now, um, to 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 stop this violence in rap before we lose it. Exactly. I mean, I would just say, just you know, just cut. Really, see, my problem is with because I'm one of them just stop it folks. Right. You know, if you see it, like you tell your child that they about to run out in the street, you're like stop. Stop it. I ain't got no reason other than you just need to stop, stop it before you run out there and get hit by that car. Correct, correct. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, with these guns and stuff, folks is dying and it's real. And I don't think that people really, but these kids don't value themselves no more, man. They ain't got no pride in themselves. And that's why it comes back to us letting them know where they come from and letting them know, nah, we proud of this neighborhood. We proud of ourselves around here. We value ourselves. Did we mm-hmm. fail them? Are, are they, are they, uh, 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 is, the new generation, a product of us not caring. You know, when Nobody I, when I told, I told somebody helped. this. When, when, oh, when, never when I grew up, right, mm. we had um, OGs in the hood. Mm. Uh, they would, I'm talking about slap your head up, you know, chase yep. you down on your bike, you yep. know. Yep. You know, take, take your ice cream. But, yeah. you know, it just kind of. They loved you though. Yeah. You know, they won't let nobody else come in from other streets and do nothing to you. Yeah. But they would, you know, that was the OG thing. I don't see that no more. No, because these kids out here by themselves. But then also, hell, if everybody locked up, who gonna be there for them? Wow. They incarcerated a whole bunch of folks in the 90s. So when that's when these kids was little kids growing up. So by the time they got old enough to try to figure out whether they were gonna be crazy as hell or try to learn some or uh, have some kind of code. Anybody that was there that probably could have taught them was in jail. In jail. Mm-hmm. You wow, see what I'm deep. saying? So that's it's deep. like, I think that's a big part of it too. And the folks that is out doing their thing, they don't reach out to nobody. And then when folks try to reach out to them, they don't give up the game. Mm, because right. they trying to stay in the they game instead of trying to help somebody else get in the game. See, I, I'm a firm believer in if you got the gift, you got the gift. Correct. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Can't nobody take none from you. You see what I'm saying? You got to stand up and open up the door for the next man. And if they come and pass you, then that's just on them. Yeah, you know, they, they they might be better than you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And if not, then you might need to be working harder. Right, working harder. You want the truth? Well, here's the wicked truth. <laughs>